Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you what you'll need to do to upgrade to Lion. So Apple announced on Monday that Lion will be out in July. We don't have an exact date yet, but it's never too early to get ready for the upgrade. Now first, of course, you need to make sure you have a Mac that's compatible with Lion. You can go to the Apple menu about this Mac and here you can view information about your Mac. So one of the first things you need to check is to make sure that you have a processor that supports Lion. So the processor types are an Intel Core 2 Duo, any of the Core i3, i5, or i7 processors, or Xeon processors like found in the Mac Pros. And you can see here that mine is compatible. You can also find here your version of Mac OS X. Now, of course you need to have Snow Leopard to upgrade to Lion. So that's 10.6 and I have 10.6.7 which is the most current version which includes the Mac App Store which is a crucial piece as well. By the time we get to Lion we may actually be at 10.6.8. So what if you have Leopard? Well if you have Leopard but still have a Core 2 Duo processor or newer then you can upgrade first to Snow Leopard and you might want to do that now and then you'll be ready to upgrade to Lion. There is no direct path from Leopard to Lion because you need the Mac App Store to do this and the Mac App Store only runs on Snow Leopard. Now if you have Tiger then chances are you probably have an older processor, say a PowerPC processor like a G3, G4, or G5 and that's not compatible with Lion or Snow Leopard for that matter. Now you'll know when Lion comes out because there's going to be a big announcement and all the sites like MacMost.com will cover it. But you can also sign up at this address for an email from Apple when Lion comes out. Now the price for Lion will be $29.99 in the Mac App Store. This is the same price as Snow Leopard when that came out but much cheaper than the $130 price tag for Leopard and previous versions of Mac OS X. Now Lion is going to be a 4 gigabyte download in the Mac App Store. If you have a fast broadband it's probably no problem for you. Slower broadband may be kind of an overnight or while you're at work type of download and anything less than broadband it might not be realistic for you to upgrade to Lion. It does not appear that there will be any way to get Lion other than downloading it from the Mac App Store. It doesn't seem that Apple is going to come out with any disks at all or even a way to create your own restore disk. Now new Macs of course would come with Lion after Lion was released and we can hope that we'll still get restore disks for those. But if you have an older Mac you have to hang on to your old restore disks that came with it or your Snow Leopard upgrade disk and use those to restore and re-download Lion in case of a catastrophe. Now as for compatibility we are pretty sure that Lion won't be able to run any PowerPC applications. So if you rely on a very old piece of software it's time to upgrade to a newer version or find an alternative. And now for other types of software you may want to check with developers websites especially if it's a critical piece of software for you. Make sure that their software is compatible with Lion before upgrading. Now what's interesting about Lion is that you can get Lion Server for only $50 extra as another download. So you download on top of Lion, Lion Server. Previously Mac OS X Server has been a completely different product and it's been expensive, $500 or even $1000 not too long ago. But at $50 now it could be something not only for professionals but for our hobbyists as well. So what do you get with Server? Well you get the Mac OS X Server application and a bunch of other ones as well uh, including a wiki, email server, uh, calendar server, the ability to do push notifications. You can basically think of it as your own personal version of MobileMe that you can set up in your small organization. So that's basically what you need to know now about Lion. I'll have more about it in July when it comes out. Until then you can take a look at all the new features in Lion at this page at the Apple website. Until next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.